back with the Rod of Fez show. Thanks for being with us on a Thursday and a chance to win WWE Monday Night Raw live tickets at the MCI Center. That is coming up this next Monday. Fezzy, how do you want to give these out? Uh, do you want to do a question? you want to do something like that? Yeah, I thought I'd throw something out here. Uh, we talked about during the fastest hour, the guy who just lost it in the airport. Couldn't take the security line anymore. Drops his pants and exposes himself. So that's his way of getting even. Here's my D. <laughs> and then screams, there, now how do you like your job? <laughs> you have to look at my D. So the, the point where you just... Lost it. You can't stand no more. Oh, I know exactly how he feels sometimes, and it's always embarrassing when uh, you end up not being able to take it anymore. 866-277-4969. 866-277-4969. Literally, when I'm out driving, I will say to myself as I'm leaving the driveway, hey, if it's a, a, a traffic jam, you're not going, you're just going to roll with it. You'll listen to some CDs, you'll listen to some radio, because I don't want to be freaking out in the car anymore. We, uh, I lost it not too long ago at a fast food drive through window, where it was one of those things where my order wasn't ready and I was asked to pull over to the side. Yeah. And then I see all these other cars getting their orders that were behind me and taking off. And I think by the fifth one, I got out of the car... Uh, stuck my fat face right in the drive through window and screamed, "These, po th where is my order? Why are all these people getting theirs first? The girl said to me in her broken accent, we're cooking the burgers. And I said, you mean to tell me that none of these other people have ordered hamburgers? Not as many as you order when you go out. I will gladly pay you Tuesday. You're up to 100 now. <laughs> now, you go to fast food how often a week? I probably go... Four times a week. Four times a week. So you should already have it down to a science. So the disappointment of being left in the parking lot must have just been destructive for you. All right. Your chance to win WWE tickets. Give us a call at 866-277-4969. Times where you just lost your mind like this poor guy did in the airport and ended up yanking his pants down. <laughs> uh, this morning, actually, I lost it big time. I, uh, I stayed up till about 5 a.m. playing video games, and my girlfriend was trying to wake me up so I could drive her at 9 a.m. to yeah. work. And I, I don't remember all of it, but all I remember is yelling, F you! At your chick? Yeah, because I, I didn't want to wake up, and she's yelling at me, You should have stayed up till 5 a.m. playing video games. I told you don't do that. You said you're only going to play one game. You should have been in bed by 2.30. Now, I thought she lived right across the street from her job. Uh, she doesn't live that far away, but she we had to uh, go to the grocery store as well this morning. So That's a good impression of her. Yeah. All right, uh, here's some uh, instant feedback about you, Fez. One says, imagine that Fez getting upset over food. <laughs> and the other one said, Fez lost it tonight on a caller. And you honestly did. After As soon as you drank that energy drink, you called the uh, caller nutsy. I know. I should probably apologize to Carlos. I'm sure <laughs> Carlos is not listening <laughs> to us anymore. <laughs> is that right, nutsy? <laughs> yes, he has a mucho, Carlos. Uh -oh. Just because he has a Spanish name? Doesn't mean that he's from Mexico. 866 4969 Times that you lost it. Here's Walter. Walter, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, buddy. I got an airport story. Go ahead. So you, I drove all the way to Reagan, get to the airport, check in, go to the bathroom. Two minutes later, go back, and the lady said, we gave your ticket away to somebody in family because you weren't back in time. Oh, I hate that kind of stuff. Oh. I'm like, you just saw me two minutes ago check in, and you gave my seat away. And I had a final exam for college the next day. I missed it. Oh, man, yeah, you're going into the finals. It just, that kind of stuff drives you crazy. Here is uh, Brian, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, Brian. Yesterday morning, yesterday morning, 7-11. I'm late to work. Actually, I would have been on time if it wasn't for 7-11. 30 people in line, four people at 7-11. One cash register working. The guy in front of me buying three hot dogs and four scratch and play tickets. And I'm like, can't take it. So I'm not just good enough that I have to express myself. I have to involve the guy behind me. Can you believe this crap? What is the deal here? 
Four people working there. They all got shirts on 7-Eleven. <laughs> Can they not operate on a second register? What is the deal? And the guy behind me is kind of like, please don't involve me. Just let me out of this. I don't want to be involved. In I'm this. just a citizen. <laughs> uh, I always try to give me a yeah, It's nuts, huh? Somebody yeah, to do what? something about it. People always seem to try to involve others in their complaint. It's yeah. Genius. And sometimes you will be able to see uh, a full pack of people. We're not, I don't understand this anymore. And right, I, Brian, understand, you, I understand the minimum wage thing, and yeah. it's only 7-Eleven, but so what? You're working there. Do the freaking job. Help me get my coffee. All right, Brian. Here is, uh, you're going to the finals. Uh, Jack, you're on a Fez. Hey, guys. How you doing, buddy? When did you just lose it? Just lost your mind. Jack couldn't keep it together anymore. Yeah, well, what happened was uh, a long time ago, my, my parents were getting divorced, and I saw something I didn't like with my mom. And I just went crazy. I, like, grabbed a liter of vodka. I chugged the whole bottle, like, maybe three gulps. It was just gone. I went off on her and jumped through the window. And the next minute, I found myself in the hospital, not even know what's going on. Now, Jack, was your mom dating? Uh, Apparently, she was, without, you know, my knowledge. Right. And just like I said, I, I saw something. Now, it kind of got in your mom, the, mind that maybe your mom was a hua. Well, who knows? Yeah. You know, so, like I said, it was, it was really a rough time. Yeah. So, does it help you now when you just shut your eyes and think about her with other men? No. Now, I don't even bother. Just, I just drink away and just don't worry. Drown my sorrows by myself. So, you, you know, still run to the vodka yeah. bottle. Now, no, Jack, no how old are you? I'm 30 right now. 30? Yeah. And still thinking about mom? No, no, not anymore. Not anymore. You're not done anymore. with that. Yeah. No, that was back when I was like 17. Yeah. Yeah, Tadpole. All right, my friend. Uh, you're going into the finals. I like him a lot, Fezzy. Just a guy who saw his mom do something awful, and now has spent the last 13 years drinking because she's now dating after divorcing. Uh, Al, you're on Ron and Fez. Uh, hey guys, uh, great show. It is. Um, yeah, when I lost it uh, was when uh, about uh, four months after my divorce, I'm checking my credit rating uh, to uh, see if I can uh, qualify for a house, and I find out my wife's been using uh, a credit card that's in my name without my knowledge and uh, throwing the bills in the trash, and it's like 90 days overdue. This happens all the time, and you know what? They're always telling you, like, when you're getting a separation, go and stop the cards, and you never do because you feel like. You know, hey, I know this person, nothing's going to happen. And it always does. And you're just, like, not in the mind set to start trying to do defensive work and starting to, to fix things. And uh, so your your credit got ruined from it. Yeah, totally ruined. All right, going into the finals. I don't, I don't mind you for going off like that. Here's Holly. You're on Rana Fez. Hello. How you doing? Cool in the gang, baby. What you got, Holly? I actually lost it this morning. I was running late for work. I pulled up behind this woman coming out of my apartment complex, and we have sensors to go through the light. Well, this woman has pulled up like 10 feet before the sensor, and we went through three lights, and I finally stopped, my, like, got out of my car, put it in park, went up to her window, knocked on it, and said, do you realize that there's light sensors, you idiot? <laughs> I couldn't help it. <laughs> that drives me nuts when someone misses that little part of the intersection where they're supposed to roll up on it. I don't know why. I'm digging how in a big, big way, getting out of her car for it, though. Uh, yeah, you're going into the, the finals, darling. You know what drove me? This is my worst thing. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit late for the ball game. I'm going to pick my dad up. I'm on 95, and traffic just stops. And when I finally get up to where... You know, traffic just suddenly picks up, starts going 65. It's because there was a bad accident on the other side. There was no reason for anybody in our four lanes of, of highway to slow down or hit the brake at all. And traffic had been backed up for five miles from rubbernecking. Sometimes I get upset in my head and I want to yell at the people that were in the accident and just yell, learn to drive. Uh, that might not be the right thing, Fez. It's never the right thing. It's awful. Mike, you're on a Fez, but it does prove that you're a good Christian. Hey, Mike, what's up? I don't what's yell up, it. Yeah. Hey, uh, I was at the uh, Outback with uh, my female the other day. Nice. You're doing well for yourself then. Yeah. And, um, did you get yeah. the Bloomin' Onion? It's phenomenal. Yeah. Actually, we did because it was our birthday, and they give it to you for free. Why not? Sweet. But, Enjoy, um, it. Enjoy it, honey. It'll all the, go away tomorrow. For the entree, it took... An hour and 15 minutes. This was on a Thursday night. And I'm seeing all these people around me that came in after me. They're getting their food. Uh, we get them my food. I order my steak medium rare. It's burnt to a crisp. 
Uh, I just said I had it. Of course, all the managers come out because I started talking to the person across the table and every across the other tables, and so they di then they discount the meal. You uh, made your uh, girlfriend's birthday extra special that night, didn't you? I guess so. Okay, my man, you're going to the finals. I'm gonna order the blooming idiot. <laughs> Jackie, you're on Ron and Fez. Hi, I love you guys. And we love you too, darling. Um, one morning uh, I was driving to work on the Dulles Toll Road, and traffic had backed up, and people were trying to get through the, the toll. And I had let a bunch of people in front of me. I was, you know, being nice about it. And this guy in this little powder blue wimpy truck tried to get in front of me, and I had just had it. I was going through a severe depression <laughs> and uh, very angry, and I just lost it. And I cut in front of him. Um, well, I got around him, and I t just tapped his bumper, like his front bumper. I just, just touched it. Dang, road and, rage. Well, okay, so... <laughs> I was uh I was really angry at this guy and my I just got out of the car, went over to him and his window was down and I just started screaming at him. I just lost it. And uh it was pretty freaky because uh I didn't know this guy, he could have killed me, but uh he just he just uh took off. <laughs> yeah, I mean scary. that's the thing about you don't know what any other person what they're capable of or what they're going through at this point of their life, too. And we yeah. would never do this if it wasn't for the cars. Like, if you're walking down the road, it's very unusual uh, to mm -hmm. treat people like that in real life. We'll put you in the, in the finals. Although I was at the DMV not too long ago, and this uh, guy, he was actually a soldier in the full uniform, he just jumps up and screams at these little kids, maybe three to five years old, you keep touching my chair! And he stomps <laughs> back about five rows. And everybody's just looking at him going, hey, hole. And I'm like, you know, I know we all feel that way. We don't know whether he just got back from Iraq or he's heading to Iraq. We don't know what got this guy in this thing. But you see somebody screaming at a kid, uh, for just being children. The pressure's there for all kinds of reasons, but it's the little thing, like the chair touch, that will make it all explode. Yeah, but sometimes I do think people have more of a tendency to take it off on children or waitresses because at that moment in life, they're serving you. So somehow they're subservient to you. You know, I never understand that. I'm like, you're not uh, one of the Bloomingdale family. Why are you screaming at these people like you're above them? One time I was on, the, when I was getting my new phone number, that it got screwed up with the phone company. I was on the phone, on hold, and talking to a service rep for over an hour, trying to get my phone number straightened out. By the time it was done, it still wasn't straightened out, and the guy said to me, have a nice day. Because they're required to say it. Right. And I just had enough at that point. I go, what did you say to me? He goes, have a nice day. I go, don't you be a smart ass. You've ruined my day. You've ruined my life. And you're telling me to have a nice day? And the guy actually said to me, sir, I'm required to say that. Uh, I honestly don't care whether you have a nice day or not. <laughs> I don't care even slightly. After that, I'm sure he was thrilled that I was having a bad day. Here is uh, Charlie. This is Charlie. People call me Wonder Boy. Oops, wrong button. Go ahead, Charlie. Hey, what's up, fellas? Hold on. You, you, you deserve this. This is Charlie. This is Charlie. Hey, uh, I work at a pizza place. Uh, nice. In, in, in the area. I don't want to say where. Um, and every time this person ordered, like, they would call back ten minutes late or whenever they got the pizza, whatever, and be like, oh, it's totally wrong, it's totally wrong. Well, it's on a, she calls on a Friday night, and, you know, we're slammed packed right in the middle of our rush. She's like, my pizza's wrong, you guys messed up, blah, blah, blah. I, I just hocked a big one three times in her pizza. Oh, every God. week she called, and every time, like, oh, my pizza's messed up, my pizza's messed up. I just got tired of it. So, Charlie, you never do this just to normal people, just to be mean, do you? Mm-mm. No, not at all. Ah, that wasn't convincing. I just worry so much about the food prep guys. This order's wrong again. I didn't order a loogie. It just makes me sick. Here's Jeff. Jeff, you're on the air. We're only going to take a few more callers. Hey, Ron Fez. Good show, man. Thanks, buddy. Um, I go off of that every day because I'm in the grocery store like every day because I... I, I Hungry? 
so I'm hungry and I don't have a life. But anyway, what kills me is when uh, you see a person in front of you buying uh, real nice cuts of meat and shrimp and everything, and they're talking on their cell phone. They got the big door knocker earrings and the nails all done up, and they pull out the independence card. Uh, if my wife is with me, she will send me to the back to pick up something else. She will send me back for another gallon of milk, uh, a loaf of bread or something, just so I will not yell at the lady for, for being all dolled up and talking on the cell phone using the independence card that you and I are paying for. Thank you very much, my friend. couple more, Fez. Here's uh, Nick. Nick, what do you got for us? Hey, um, I was, um, was towed about two months ago. Um, I was at my apartment. And it's like a domino effect where people were, like, parked, but it was, like, just a little over the line, so it was a domino effect. Mm -hmm. I got up in the morning, um, tried to go to work around 8.30. Car was gone. And I knew I parked there every day, so something was wrong. So I went and called the police, said my car was stolen. And then um, they called me back, said, no, I was towed by a tow service, which I won't name. And um, so I went to mall management to find out what the deal was, but uh, the management office wasn't open, so I was late for work, had to call the work, and I just went off on them. I said, no, there's no way. Went down to pick it up, and they had a photograph for the uh, Polaroid of the lot, and my tire was like maybe eight inches over the line. And they said I was double parked. That's the reason why they told me. Unbelievable. And they had a little photo, and the guy was a little smart, and I asked him, he said, yeah, well, we got a picture right here. I said, dude, man, it was a domino effect. You know? <laughs> domino effect? What do you expect me to do? Yeah, Maybe you've heard of the domino the effect. Had to that depends on what's in court. You should, they should have towed 20 cars if that was the well, deal. Exactly All right, Nick, uh, we'll put you in the finals. Let's take one more, Fezzi. Here's uh, Matt. Welcome, Matt. Hey, buddy. I was on my way to work about two months ago. I work out in uh, Sterling. I was on 28, and if you've ever been on it, it's a three-lane highway. But at the time, they were doing construction, so it was down to one. It was down to two lanes on each side. This car that was about two cars ahead of me gets rear-ended at the red light, and uh, they, they get out, and they start switching and starts everything, and the light turns green. I roll down my window. I say, hey, is everyone okay? And they said, we're fine, we're fine. I said, well, are you, are you guys going to move your car? Because... Where the car was, it was in the far right-hand lane, and it was, I mean, the car was literally halfway onto the shoulder. I said, well, are you guys going to move your car over, you know, an extra two feet? And they said, no, we can't. We have to keep the car right here where it's at crime, uh, scene of a crime. I said, if you two don't leave the scene, you can move the damn thing two feet over. The guy refused to move his car two feet onto the shoulder. And then I'm, you know, like two minutes away from work. I end up being 30 minutes late because it's down to two lanes. No one's letting me over when they're going 45, 55 miles an hour, and I'm sitting behind these two a-holes. All right, my man. Well, Fez, you got a tough job ahead of you tonight. Someone's going to pick up WWE Monday Night Raw tickets for this Monday at the MCI Center. The odd thing, if I was picking, you would probably win first and second with your psycho stories. <laughs> I'm sticking my head in the drive thru window. I'm lucky they didn't shut it on me. They had every right to. How hungry were you? You cannot wait until you're starving before you go get food. That's one of your eating problems. It is one of my eating problems because that, that's another point of where I can't wait for it to be cooked. Yeah. You're still <laughs> just going out of your mind. Uh, I would have put my hand in the fryer that night if I, if I had the opportunity. You just start slapping a... Uh, you start slapping french fries out like you're a big Kodiak bear, trying to knock them into your mouth. All right, so this is for the WWE tickets, and that is Monday night at the MCI Center. We'll take a break. We'll come back and uh, announce the winner. You're listening to the Ron Fez Show.